What's up with you two? Eh? First thing in the morning in this house and the only sound I can hear is my own voice. Feel free, either of you, to fight me to get a word in. Sing it if it's easy, Liberty. Let it out. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. I love that one. Sorry to barge in so early. Barge away, please. Liberty, I made these for your gig today. Thought we could hand them out. Oh, that's brilliant. Wow. <laughs> it's great to know someone's looking after my interests instead of just out for what they can get. Yeah, well, it's your first official booking. I'm really excited for you. So am I. Can you help me set up a Shay Chez? Do a sound check? Yeah, of course. Well, I might have some spare time if you need a hand. And you can help me choose what songs to do. Why were you even discussing me or my family with Leanne? I was just talking to her. She was actually baking gingerbread men for you and the kids. And you didn't find that even a little bit odd? Then maybe you shouldn't go into work today, babe. I'm not the one that's ill, Lee. If anyone is mentally ill, then it's her. Wish I didn't have to go home. Same here, babe. Sorry. What did I tell you about apologising for yourself, eh? I know. It's just, if I'd been a better friend and spent more time with Sinead instead of you, then maybe she wouldn't have got hurt. Let me give you some bad but very good advice. Sometimes you just got to be selfish. You know, put yourself first. But look, you're happy, right? I made you happy. Then don't regret this. It's been magic. <laughs> Don't cry. Do you really want me to remember you as some sniffly mess with bogeys down your face? Do you not find that sexy? <laughs> this is for you. To remember me. I won't need to remember you. We'll speak soon, text and Skype. I'm jamming here all summer and then I'm heading down to Sixth Form College in London. So what? I'm never going to see you again. Long distance things suck. They never work. Of course. Memories are better than reality. Maybe I could stay just a little bit longer. And who's going to look after Sinead if you stay here? Ruby? <laughs> that girl has not got one caring bone in her body. And like you, you've been amazing. Just came to see how Amy is. Uh, she's at work. Oh, well, I thought she would be. Is she okay? Yeah, look, I don't think he's going to be keen on you coming around here, you know. Oops, you heard about her attacking me then? She did say that you were saying stuff about her mum. Well, I was trying to be supportive. I know she's been through such a lot and I didn't mean to push it, but I don't think she'd be that defensive. She's really sensitive about it. Hmm, found that out. Look, see, I've decided I'm going to make friends with Amy, even if it kills me. Anyway, there was another reason that I came today. So I was in town shopping for a birthday present for my little cousin. She's turning five, gorgeous, like a mini-me, really. <laughs> anyway, it was two for one, and I know you're a bit strapped for cash, but I saw this, and I just thought of Leah. <laughs> Look, the last thing I want to do is offend Amy. Oh, yeah, you are right, though. She's not going to be happy that that's off you. Well, you could always buy it off me. You just said you got it for free. No, buy one, get one free. Look, it's still a massive saving if you go halves. And think about Leah's little face when her daddy's bought her a surprise, eh? Right, I'm going while I get some cash. <laughs> oh, 
Should I? Hello, Barnes residence. Hi, it's the nursery. Can I speak to Leah's mum? Yeah, this is Leah's mother. And when you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while. Cause girl, you're amazing. Just the way you are. <laughs> How long? How long have we been standing here? Long enough. I was just there. It's a sound, sound check. Mm. Uh, Teresa. Teresa. When I told Lib about you and Ethan in the hotel room. Yeah. Well, I did it to protect her. And I wanted her to drop Ethan, not, not you. <laughs> Which one? That. that one. Who asked you and what are you doing here? I hope you don't mind. I've been handing out flyers. Nobody said you could do that. I know, but well, still, people seemed interested. I want to come. Why? Because you're my friend. <laughs> Was. Well, and you're brilliant. And if no one's here, then we'll have your audience. Not that they won't, because they will. I need to rehearse. Okay. I don't know what to say. I close my eyes like on TV. Pretend I'm in a coma. <laughs> you can declare your dying love to me as I take my last breath. I love you. You're only saying that because you feel enough about what happened. No. It just happened because I don't tell you enough how much I love you. My mum is going to flip. Oh, it's your own. But I lied to her, got smashed, I nearly drowned. She's going to freak out. Even stressing about it isn't going to make you feel any better. I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just, I want to see you with her and your friends. It just freaked me out. There are mates now. I think I'm a right idiot. <laughs> well, Johnny thinks you're pretty hot. <laughs> She's mad that I got you first. That's <laughs> not right. Hey, that's not funny. If that boy wasn't such a braggart, he could get around. <laughs> I'll bother you. That was Maddie. And now this you. Jasmine. You have one one. I'm sorry, I screwed up. I should have saved you. I love you too, you know. I'm sorry things didn't pan out the way we hoped. Just simply waking up next to you makes me happy. Away from her. Now. <laughs>